Hey guys, Dr. Chris here, and welcome back to Something Else Amiga. What do we have on the show today? In this special blue pill, break out your wallet. It's time for something incredible in the Amiga community. This package comes to us from Mr. Stefan from Amiga Technology. What is in the bag? Well, I have removed the label for privacy. Here's some ASMR with my overmodulated microphone. Can't wear them. You hear me breathing and snorting? That's it. Thanks for watching. What do you know from funny, you bastard? No. Check this out. Inside is the Super DMAC 04. Three and a half. Three and a half, four. This is your DMA memory controller for the Amiga 3000 series computers. This is an FPGA recreation. This has been going on well over a year and it's into its final stages where you can actually hold this in your hand. 390537 Re Super Re Super DMAC Amiga Forever on the logo. This is the revision 1 Alpha. You can see the JTAG header pins right there for programming. And latest development is after firmware 0 0.9, I believe, you can now update these directly from the Amiga itself. How is this going to benefit us? How this is going to benefit us is there's been so many times that there's DMA issues on certain cards or 060s and the limitations of the O2 rear their ugly head. Now I'm not going to get all science and math on you. Just know that newer revisions are always better than their previous counterparts. Just look at the 68060s. The Rev 1s, great, run a little hot. Rev 3s, a little better. Rev 4, 5, and then finally the 6. You can crank her up to 100 megahertz. Well, same goes for your Amiga custom chipset. Unfortunately, a lot of these designs have been lost to time. So, luckily, through the magical wizardry of the people involved in this project and their Discord, which I'll link in the description below, and it's a vast group of people, they have been able to recreate this now, it's, it's in baby steps, so it's going to be further developed. There's going to be issues, there's going to be bugs, and that's why you can flash new versions of this CPLD directly on your Amiga. This revision that I purchased, uh, it was under $100, but I gave Stefan $100 and said, here you go, he said, thanks for the tip. It's the least I can do to support it. I try to buy everything that comes out in one way, shape, or form, and uh, to support the Amiga and keep the dream alive. So we're going to get an Amiga 3000 and we're going to put this in there and see how she rolls. Here we are again. This is the Amiga 3000. Uh, I don't know which one. And I pulled it off the archive side and we turned it on. I don't think the hard drive light works. I might have bumped into this and have to fix some solder lines on it. Now I'm going to open this pickle up. A little cold solder action there. I'm going to start disassembling screws. Yeah, she's running. It's okay. I know a guy that can fix them. Turn these off. These roads are like super duper sensitive. I even got the butt plug thing on the wind socky dude and it's still just, it's crazy. The level of noise that this Canon Vixia shows. Okay, so enough of my yap. Now, I don't have any Zorro 3 cards in here. So, Ramsey is not really doing my DMA access so well, but we're going to change that. We're going to put in an accelerator 3640 or greater because what's going to happen is um, you're not going to use the IDE, you're not going to use the, the HIDE, e HIDE that device from the terrible, from the terrible fire cards. The ultimate combination has always been Super DMAC 04 Ramsey 07. That was the best Zorro 3 memory management compatibility, Buster 11 of course, uh, for the 3000. Now DMAC 02, 
and Buster O or Ramsey O four do work fine on a three thousand. Now with a thirty six forty and Zoro three, it's up to a three point one. A lot of people got the D Mac O four because they had a fast lane, a Zoro three memory controller. So now the Ramsey O four isn't going to be so noticeable on older OSs, but on newer ones like three two, three one four, three two two one, you're going to notice some stuff. Now, forever there's been the combination of the, the Super DMAC 02 Ramsey 04, Super DMAC 04 Ramsey 07. Maximum Zoro 3 compatibility, Super Buster 11s, the best memory addressing, the best bus mastering possible because older kickstarts didn't always show all the bugs. Just look at the Amiga 1200 Kickstart 3. 8 megs of RAM PCMCIA work. Why are we having these weird errors? Because it was overrunning RAM space. Different scenario. But every Amiga has their own little niche and their own little holy grail of chips. Most of them, you're going to notice that it's going to, it's, it's going to work fine. This is a Super DMAC 02 inside. And people run various tests of Sysinfo AIBB. They run uh, show config to show their stuff. It's still Re Ramsey Rev 13, Gary Rev 0, Paula, blah, 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 blah. Great. But where's the Super DMAC? It's not even listed in here because it's a DMA memory controller. You're going to run into issues when you start using things that hit it. Like the 4091 with you know various accelerators on certain Amigas. Now the reason I even got this was because I was futzing around. You probably haven't seen it yet. But you're going to see a video where I attempt to take the purple wonderful container here and I put it in the 3000 tower because it works well the idea with the DMAC 04 was the 3000 T 040s had the DMAC 04 native chip from Commodore and it fixed so many of the issues Super Buster 11 Ramsey 07 DMAC 04 it's your holy grail chicken wings with ranch dressing and a, a big thing of half brow it's the perfect combination now you can slow it down with the static column chips like I had fast page mode, burst mode, you'll run into these errors. The 3000, the Super DMAC, accesses larger address spaces on the Zorro 3 expansion bus. The Super DMAC 02 was intended for use with Ramsey 04 and the 3000D and T. Uh, the 04 was intended for use with the Ramsey 07, which came out to address issues found with the longer signal runs on the 3000 tower motherboard. The Ramsey Super DMAC pairings address issues for SCSI and DMA controller, which uh, F with the 3391 Western Digital SCSI controller chip. Now I've updated to the AMD on one of these Amigas. It helped in synchronous mode, SCSI transfers, and compatibility and stuff like that. So this is all about RAM, SCSI, DMA access, direct memory access to you guys that don't know what DMA is. So it the DMA like talks to the Western Digital chip to give some glue logic for bus mastering functions for the SCSI bus. So, where I was having issues with my 3000 and all the SCSI issues, I got it to work one time doing all this crazy crap, asynchronous mode, all, all these custom things. This combo is supposed to fix all that. See what we got. Now, I'm pretty sure it's the, the WDC Proto chip that we all have, the Western Digital 33 whatever. I'll swap it for the AMD. Can I finally use the BFG in here? That's going to be my test, because the terrible fire works. The BFG is the little bitch. So this is pretty much as stock as they come. Check this out. Now, this has been upgraded, so we have a Super Buster 11. We have a Ramsey 04. It's not the combo we want. Super DMAC 02. And the Western Digital 33... Was that camera buzzing? I'm sorry. Uh... 33C93 Alpha Proto SCSI chip. My combo is not the combo I need, but I do want to see if this works. Find your Super DMAC 02, make sure you're underneath of it, squeeze, and pull it out. Place that down there, that salt, we throw that out. This is the complex part of this new chip, is this plug. It replicates the pins. Uh, Please note your orientation of one, it's towards you. This will line up in here and press down. That's it. That is the Re Super DMAC, an FPGA recreation of our wonderful Super DMAC.
this is the BFG 9060 in black this was built by Mr. Cavanaugh's 2023 102 internal, 104 internal, 103 FPU is on, check and 10 what? 100, 1 and 2 internal to 25 megahertz. 100 is on 25 megahertz. So I'm good there. It also has screws to hold this cord on this cal connector that I'm not going to put in. Zulu's powered by the SCSI bus, so we'll ignore that. We're ready. Anyway, let's see what happens. Does it blow up or does it work? I'm going to pre light up the monitor. Alright, let's hit it. Floppy is uh, booting. We are 060 and the SCSI's working. Holy shit. The SCSI's working. Yeah! I've never had the BFG work on native SCSI. I'm not getting any hard drive errors. I was getting CRC errors before. Ball sack. Ball sack. Kick me in the ball sack. Oh man, that's awesome. We got a benchmark it. Alright, I'm sold already. Well, I'm, I know I'm sold because I bought it. Damn, that's fast. Uh, red type CPU. 68060, Rev 4, Super Scalar, Data Mode, Burst Mode, blah 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 blah. All that happy crap. Tickle thing. I didn't do anything but put a chip in. I didn't have to rebuild crap all day. I didn't have to do nothing. Let's do Witch Amiga now. 68060 TK, uh, A1K thingy mabobber. That's the, uh, BFG. I also got 128 megs of RAM. 50 megahertz. It's an LC so it doesn't have an FPU. LC Rev4 shows you right up there. Alright, let's do the mem test. 24 megs per second. What were we getting before? 13. All these yellows are all of your FPU based tests. I'm freaking tickled pink that the BFG is now working in the 3000. I've never got it to work off the native SCSI. I always had to put a 4091 in them to think about working. I get CRC errors, they wouldn't work. I would reboot like this, and the CRC error, and you get a system error. You've seen them before. I've thrown them in all sorts of things, and they give me hell. Onboard SCSI. Super DMAC 04. Holy crap. Remember before, when I did the BFG 9060, I had to do all this crazy crap, like take all the MU libs out. This isn't this was the 030 build this has all of those and it is just rocking how can one chip make all that difference how can one chip fix the SCSI bus on the 3000 for all the cards that I've been having a problem with it just does now I need to buy a whole bunch more and they're software upgradable the current ones by the time this video comes out they're gonna be software upgradable through workbench this project has been a community effort with the PC designed by Mr. Jorgen Bylander and the code by Mike Taylor. It's been an exercise in reverse engineering the Commodore Super DMAC 390537 as found in the Amiga 3000. It started out with nothing more than descriptions of the operations from the 3000 Tower Service Manual and the 33C93 SCSI data sheets. Some source code and Linux drivers. Since then, the schematics for what appears to be the Revision 3 surfaced, along with the original finite state machine descriptions. So, all that, this is going to be like, not a Rev 4, but a Rev 3. But, they're doing all the markups now, so that's the project board. There's your JTAG headers that mine will have soldered on, I'll do that later. There's some magic on the bottom. The plug, there's the plug. That's the expensive part. All the timing. Coco TB test and the VCD files. So Mike T, of course, Jorgen, uh, Chris Hooper, aka CDH, aka Hooper Such, uh, Andy, Trickster1979, Matt, actually Mr. Lib2, Matthias, Stefan, Screamo, you guys are the same name, and of course, Terrible Fire, Mr. SJ, Stephen Leary himself. And honorable mentions, of course, are the Godfather. In the Eurozone, Mr. John Hertel, Shanchi, and of course, the amazing brain of Mr. Wrangler Amiga. So, that is the team behind your Super DMAC, and I am just a stupid old man on the Americas that fixes your Amigas for free. I'm very excited about this project, in case you can't tell, I lost all of my hair over it. Kudos to those guys and the entire team of the Re-SD-MAC. 
There's a Discord. I'll link the GitHub. I'll link the Discord and all the contact information if you're interested in getting one of these. The team is building them. They're kind of expensive because of the stupid plugs. I don't think they're mass produced. I think they're handmade. Now, Stefan made mine because I beg and plead and I paid him extra money. I don't know if Screamo's making them. I don't know if Live 2's making them over in the old Eurozone. Those guys have brains that supersede mine like 20 fold in the development side. I can fix your hardware. I'm not a chip fab guy. So, if you're interested in one of these, I'll link everything I got in the description below. Please do not bug the living crap out of Stefan. He can only make so many at a time, but it's an incredible thing that's opened up doors for our Amigas, and now I got accelerators that work in the 3000 with this native SCSI. I didn't even upgrade the SCSI chip or the Ramsey U07. It's just, it just worked. And I'm going to leave well enough alone and enjoy it. So that's the Super D-Mac, Re-Super D-Mac, 04, 3 and a half, 3 and 3 quarters, the Re-Super D-Mac chip. How about that? And I hope the Agnes gets done too. That would be epic. So I thanked everybody on the GitHub, uh, Mike Taylor. There are no official builders yet, but he's working on it. He's reaching out to some that he trusts to do a good job here in the UK and Euroland. The main folks to thank are Jay Bylander and... Ariond, E-R-I-O-N-D, for getting the initial prototypes based on the Max 10 Re-Agnes boards made in Alta folks. Stefan for building, distributing, and showcasing the project in the USA. Chris Hooper for helping with the Super DMAC test tool, dev test, and other software essential for testing. Mr. Andy as a dedicated tester on the AA3000 Plus and testing the DSP compatibility in the long-term loan of a Super DMAC Rev4. And of course, Wrangler Amiga for testing the 3000T. Screamo for a loan of a Super DMAC 02, and all who have donated to help with the production, cost, and prototype boards, Mr. Mike Taylor. And also, a special thanks to Matsy for providing the original state machine documentation. Has been a tremendous success in the 3000 desktop. My goal, as you saw in my previous video with effing around with the Terrible Fire 4060, I'm wondering if I could just put this Super DMAC in there, because this thing would crash and not changing mask types or anything like that, just using it would never work. And I had CRC errors. You saw the 3000 tower video. I ended up using a 4091 and it worked on single partition, things like that. This, I have three hard drive files on here and it's been running fine. I didn't have to do anything crazy. I just plugged it in. So that's all I got for this endeavor on the Re Super D Mech. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something. Uh. What do you know from funny, you bastard?